Hey everyone, it's me, Sarah. And me, Rocky. And we are Savage Disney Pins. Yet slightly sophisticated at the same time. Mm, are we? Oh, indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> for those of you who are new to our channel, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy this content, make sure to hit like and subscribe. For those who are coming back, welcome back. We've got more in store. Because today of all days is the most important day of the week. It is. Sarah, do you know what day it is? It's Pins Day! Indeed it is. I love Pins Day. Yes, you do. <laughs> These are all true facts. One, one fact that is very true. We have a veritable cornucopia of pin mail to share with you today. Rocky got some pin mail as well, so that's really exciting. Enough of this useless talking. Let's get to the opening of the things. This was a sale on Instagram at nurse underscore Minnie Mouse. And I will tag everybody down below um, that we mentioned in this video. We'll have a link down below so you can go check them out. Um, she does sales, I think weekly, she puts up board sales. And I saw this pin and it was really cute. And it's just, it's just an odd little pin. It is got Ariel, Snow White and Cinderella. And it's actually from the Disney Cruise Line. So it looks like they're in the like port window. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this pin yet because I collect Little Mermaid, but I don't collect any of the other princesses, so it doesn't really belong on my Little Mermaid board. It was a, a a little interesting find, and it's it's pin on pin, which is really cool. And then it also has these like jeweled little jeweled elements throughout it, so it's a fun little addition. Bag number two of 753. <laughs> Give or take. This next one is from an Etsy shop. It's a small shop called Yester Daisy Studios. Little business card. And again, I'll link them down below. You can go check them out. I got this beautiful fantasy aerial pin. This thing is massive. It's like the size of my palm. Oh, and the back is also really pretty. It has these like really pretty flower and butterfly design on it. I love when like the back of the pin is also really detailed. This is beautiful. I'm very excited about this. You should just take the pin posts off and make a nice set of coasters. It's, it's big enough to do that. It's so, it's so massive. Look at that. Wow, she's a good artist. Yeah. Yeah, Yester Daisy Studios. Go check them out. In our last pin mail video, I did an honorable mention for Brie over at Snow Queen Brie on Instagram because I had gotten some pin mail with one of her stickers in it. Oh, and her pin mail cards are awesome. And her pin mail cards are awesome. So I got my own Snow Queen Brie. Like I said, she has really awesome stickers. You can get either like fairly good size stickers, like pretty good size stickers. Um, I think for like $2 each and they're like glittery and really pretty. I, however, like to get the sticker packs from her, which are these little baggies that have a ton of stickers in them and they are themed. So this is Disney afternoon. So it has rescue Rangers. It has um, a goofy movie, goof things troop. like, sorry, goof troop. All that good stuff is in this bag. Comfy princesses from Ralph breaks the internet whole series of those. I put these in my trader bags. So I like to get things that aren't necessarily just for me. So I like to try and find things that other people will like as well. So this one is Disney dogs. I got the dogs, so I had to get the cats. So if you trade with me, you're probably gonna get a sticker. And if you can't wait that long, Snow Queen Brie has stickers for every occasion, <laughs> every imaginable Disney property that you would want a sticker for. There will be no sticker faux pas. Do you need a large sticker, a small sticker, a medium sticker, or somewhere in between those categories? Well, she's got you covered. She has a lot of stickers. Uh, also, at her last sale, she was selling buttons. Buttons? Buttons. Buttons? This was made by Pixie Dust Supplies, and it says, um, this is America's ass. I have a pin that has his butt on it and it says America's ass. So I got this to match, to match my pin. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. 
I did get a pin from her too, so it wasn't just stickers and buttons. I don't want to sound insecure, but should I worry about Chris Evans? Everybody should worry about Chris Evans. I think we need to broaden that. Everybody needs to worry about the Marvel Chris's. <laughs> <laughs> All the Chris's who have ever been in a Marvel movie, be worried. So here's the pin that I got from her. It says, Bear Left, Disney's California Adventure Park. All the highs and lows, mountain to desert tours. And it's a pin on pin and Mickey's like, hey. Thank you, Brie. That was awesome. Good pin mail. Into the unknown. This is from at Collect Random. They post sales. If you don't already follow them and you don't already know, they post incredible pin sales. They do everything from $3 up to like $100. They have an eBay store as well. I can't imagine that you would want anything else aside from what is on their Insta. I mean, there's so, so many pages of pins for sale on their Instagram page, so go check them out. What are we gonna start with? Let's start with the Hidden Mickeys. Okay, first up is this little Little Sorcerer Mickey, cute little 8-bit Sorcerer Mickey. I remember when those came out. Those are 2019 Hidden Mickeys. I think this was after the, uh, the like, drought void of <laughs> Hidden Mickey pins for two years. Next up, we have the Pluto Doghouse. I really like this set. I think it's really cute. From the same set is the Max Doghouse. I got two pins from the Princess Silhouette set, which is another set that came out like right after the drought. And so people went really crazy over this one too at first. Here's the Snow White one. And then the completer pin is the only one that's not a princess. I don't know why they did it that way, but it is Cinderella's carriage. It's her pumpkin. It's her pumpkin, yeah. I was real stoked that they had this pin. This is old, doesn't have a date on it. I think it's 1998 from like this massive attractions. So this 1998 was before official pin trading happened or started. So they sold them on racks, but there wasn't like a true pin trading click. I think in 1998, I actually went to Disneyland as a teenager and I don't want to sidetrack too much, but my parents gave me one of those disposable Kodak cameras and they said they want to see Disneyland through the eyes of a 16 year old. They gave me the camera and they said, go. Unless you are intimately familiar with the park, there is not one photo in that entire camera that you can associate with like Disneyland. <laughs> my parents were so upset with me. Uh, I think actually if I could find that role, you would like it because we could play Where Am I? Which is a game we like to play with our Disney friends as we yeah. send a picture of Where Am I? And yeah. they have to guess where we're at in the park. Ooh, I have an idea. What's that? So everybody out there that follows us on our Instagram, at Savage Disney Pins, tag us on Instagram with the hashtag Where Am I? of your obscure Ooh. Disney Parks pictures. That's a fun game. We're gonna try to guess in, their, in your comment sections of, of your photos if you tag us and, and hashtag where am I, we want to see your obscure. Let's see how how easily or how hard it is to stump us. This sounds like a super fun game. No Disney World. Like this has to be Disneyland or California Adventure. Like we are not we are not versed in the Walt Disney World. If you haven't been to Disneyland, you can we can try. Our ratio of we'll success. Still, we'll still play the game. If you want to see us fail, <laughs> and that's what you like, there's something for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so anyway, 1998, um, I think, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think it's from 1998. It is this really cool Mickey Frontierland pin in like a rose gold, it's got a rose gold waffle back and all it has is the Disney copyright logo on it. So it's more of a copper, it's a copper back. Copper back, yeah. yeah. The next one from them is from Disney Paris, fancy. And it's a Alice in Wonderland tea time pin. And then the very last one is from the 28th and Main box set. 
I'm working on this set. Only have a few more, so that's really cool. So this is the Indiana Jones pin. Snakes, you guys are on your own. Is there candy this in is there? a good one. Uh, no, there's no candy in it. <clears throat> but there's game pieces and Skyliners and hot cocoa. Sounds messy. <laughs> So this is a trade that I did with Ricky on Facebook. We'll start with the game piece. This is a pin, got Genie on it. It's from the 60th anniversary diamond. And when you got these pins, they came, I don't I don't know if it came with a game board or, or if you had to buy the game board, I'm not really sure. But you can use these as your marker. And what happens is this bottom part folds down. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And you can use them as game pieces and move around the... It doesn't want to stay, which is fine because I'm putting on a pin board anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, super cute little genie pin. Rocky and I went to Disney World in January of this year and got to ride the Skyliner, which I didn't think was going to be that cool. And it ended up being really cool. I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, I think it's a really ingenious way for them to do transportation between some of the parks and the hotels. I decided at that time that I was going to try and collect the Skyliner pins. So they did a whole mystery box set of the Skyliner pins. So here's the stitch one, which is awesome. I think I only have a couple more to go. And the last one we traded was the Little Mermaid hot cocoa pin that came out around the holidays last year. This one is from Yazelle. Cute little Mickey sticker on the back. It's a cool name. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I've never, I had never seen it before. Yeah. Ooh, there's a little button in here. Oh, how cute! It says Disneyland Resort, and it's an annual pass holder. A little yellow button. Get your ears on celebration map. Come on, everybody, get your ears on. Uh, 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 u
he sent these little cards, this playing card pack, like you used to get like baseball cards oh, in. Trading cards. Yeah, but they're mini and me. They're like all these different cards. And they're so stinking cute. Little post-it note pad with mini on it. Oh, that's so really cool. So fitting, because I have like all this mini stuff on right now. And then he found this really cool pin. This is from Tokyo Disney Resort. You've got Ariel, Sebastian, King Triton, and Flounder on it. And it is King Triton's concert pin. This next one was a trade I did with Pauline. You can find her over on YouTube at Mouse and Mermaid. I will link them down below. They do great vlogs. Um, she's got a whole bunch up right now that just came out all about her honeymoon that they went on at Walt Disney World, where they stayed, what they ate, like it's a whole bunch of stuff. So go check them out. She had done um, an unboxing video of the Kingdom of Cute. And if you've seen any of our other videos, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with the Space Mountain cutie pin, which I didn't get any this week, which is like a real bummer. You okay? Nobody wanted to trade me for any. It's because you have them all. There's no more in the wild. So we traded from the same set. So she got the Space Mountain cutie and I got Dumbo. And this Dumbo, I mean, Dumbo is real Real stinking cute. You remember that time we were in the park and we saw Tim Burton sitting in the Dumbo? That was really cool. I don't know if Walt Disney World has the same setup, but at Disneyland, there's a Dumbo ride vehicle sitting off to the side of the ride. And Tim Burton was there promoting Dumbo and he was just like chilling, hanging out in the <laughs> ride vehicle. So that was really cool. We got to see Tim Burton. Well, thanks, Pauline. I'm glad that you could get your Space Mountain cutie. Keeping my eye out for you so you can trade for another one. Last package is the elusive pineapple package. This was a Facebook trade with Samantha. Samantha? Bet she's not tired of that yet. <laughs> Poor girl. This is cool. She, she zapped me this aerial pin and it's a limited release from the 60th diamond celebration so it has all these little rhinestone elements to it and it's from the paint the night parade it's bejeweled it is bejeweled so what we actually traded for was this disney employee center ursula magic potion pin it's very halloween colored i like it it is yeah so you've got Ursula, she's pin on pin, and then the bottle in the background, there's a little bat up at the top. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, that's all of our pin mail for today. Mm -hmm. And if you're still here with us, thank you. And we want to tell you about an exciting giveaway. Ooh. I'm sure if you're anything like me, you like free stuff. And we're going to give you some free stuff, potentially. You could win. <laughs> so what do they have to do, Sarah, to get this free stuff? You have to follow us on Instagram. At Savage Disney Pins. Find our giveaway post. Click that like on the giveaway post. Tag a friend. Tag your Disney buddy. Who do you love going to the parks with? Who do you want to drag to the parks? Who do you like sharing snacks with at the parks? Who do you subtly want to drop a not so subtle hint that they should take you to the park? You gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it. Tag us in your Disneyland hashtag where am I? I wanna see if you can stump us. We know that park pretty well, and it's gonna take a lot. Remember, it has to be Disneyland, not Disney World, <laughs> not any other parks overseas that we haven't been to. Who's keeping Who's keeping tally? I will. Okay. It's, it's a competition. Okay. That's everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button right here. And for more content, subscribe. Until next time, stay savage. Bye. Bye. That's our cat snoring. It's so loud. I know. Okay. Wowza.